How's it going everybody and welcome to my monastery quest guide. This is a guide to help you guys with the monastery quest line and the main story of Kingdom Come Deliverance. A lot of people seem like they're having trouble with the quest so here I am going to explain to you guys how to uh, get into the monastery and then how to find the guy that you need to kill in the monastery. This is going to have some spoilers so do not watch if you haven't made it to this point in the story but if you have keep on watching. So when you first get the quest you're going to talk to Sir Ratzik and he's going to tell you that there's a guy in the tavern who has a mission to go to the monastery or something like that. And so you're going to want to talk to this guy in here. Right, They're going to be in I'm here in the tavern. Um, uh, right here in Sasau. If I can zoom out. Sasau Tavern right here. So you want to talk to this guy, okay? God be with you. You're going to talk to him and he's going to tell you sort of what he did. And you're going to tell him that you want to take his place. But he's going to say that he can't take the place. Uh, you can't take his place in the on the monastery until you deal with his bodyguard. So you talk to his bodyguard. I'm okay. And you ask him to uh, drink with you. He's going to say yes. If you have uh, higher than 10. If not, just uh, drink one of the potions that you can buy in Ratai. Okay. You don't have to play with him. You're just going to have to... Uh, Initiate the thing and then quit, right? So once you do that, you talk to this guy, the fighter. And the fighter, uh, you're going to tell him that the guy's talking shit about him, okay? He's going to start a fight with that guy right there. So you're going to wait a little bit and watch the fight start. All right, so once they start fighting, you're going to get, you're going to be able to talk to this guy right here again. Because uh, now you got him away from his caretaker. So he's gonna tell you his whole backstory. You can just go ahead to the dialogue options. But ultimately he's gonna tell you that his guardian has everything for him and if you can get him his purse, he will be grateful to you. So he is correct. Now you're gonna to wanna to wait for these guys to start fighting and uh, the guard sit back down next to uh, Carl over here. So we're gonna wait a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, now that they have stopped fighting, you can talk to the um, guard one more time. I'd like, ask him about the situation. I, what? Yes, I did you like can it. ask him uh, if you yeah, can take his place and happen. all that. But he's going to tell you that he's not going to let that happen. So you can try to bribe him. If you threaten him and you do a successful threat, um, he's not going to do it anyways. He's just going to say that he's too prideful. So you're going to do the bribe. And he, since he's drunk, person. he's going to fight you. Either if he wasn't drunk, he wouldn't fight you. Okay? Now you're going to want... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what he does. You're going to want to drag him out. Okay. Drag him out. Of the. Of the tavern. Into this little barnyard. Yeah. You can do whatever you want buddy. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now you can whoop his ass. Yeah. He's already weakened from that guy. So now. Now you can go ahead and loot him. Take the deed. Take the money. And that's that. It doesn't count as stealing because nobody saw you and I mean you you beat his ass, okay? So now you can talk to this guy. Here you are. Give him the purse stuff and now you're free to have you have the deed, so you're free to go to the monastery. You can go to the monastery, get the priest, and uh, start the quest. So I'll see you guys back in the monastery uh, after I go talk to the priest. Alright, so after the initial monastery cutscene. When you get a minute to the monastery, you're going to uh, be presented with one of the brothers who's going to instruct you and give you sort of um, your trip around the, the whole place, right? So you're going to want to do the dialogue options, it was just so you can get a good feel of them. And then you're going to say, let's go, let's okay? Go. Follow me. You're going to follow him on the tour, and at the end of the tour, you're going to want to speak to him. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and I'll see you guys when we're we done with the tour. The all right, guys, so we're here at the end of the tour. You're going to end up in the library. Now, spoiler alert. If you do not want any spoilers for this quest, you need to uh, stop right now. All right, but here we go. All right, so this guy, he's pious. So you're going to tell him about the search for pious. Okay. You do. He's going to say, uh, I'm, you're going to say that you're looking for the perpetrator's Someone punishment. Him. What? No. And he's going to blame somebody else. And then you say, uh, maybe you're right. Okay. You don't have to t tell him anything else. That's it. This guy is pious. You want to tell him that because later on that's going to be important. Okay. Now that we've done that, 
we can go ahead and go back to the living quarters which are right here and we're going to have to follow Watch the schedule of the monastery for two days this is the fastest way that you can do it you can't do it any any faster than this okay so just to show you guys here are the schedules okay 3 a.m you start of the day but the important ones are these so four in the morning you're gonna pray so you're gonna go to the chapel 6 a.m you're gonna go eat 8 a.m you're gonna work uh in the laboratory i think 12 is the library four is uh church again then you eat at six and then you sleep at seven uh these are important okay the first night this is what you're gonna do okay the first night this this is your first night after getting to the monastery you're gonna sleep until around midnight all right so we're woken up nighttime everybody's asleep now you're free to roam the corridors because uh pay more attention brother pay more attention Why come on guys things? because uh the guards they're doing something else, and you can discover this later on, but the guards are off doing their own thing, so you can go ahead and just roam. Now, these guys are in the kitchen, but you can wait. To be ex super secure, you can wait till later. Make sure nobody's in this kitchen, okay? This is the first night. You're going to want to come in here. Go all the way to the back. And up here on the shelf somewhere is the monastery key. Grab that key and leave the kitchen. All right, now that we have grabbed the monastery key, we're gonna wanna sleep again. Okay, sleep right there where they let you. You wanna sleep again until four in the morning, around four or five in the morning. And then uh, when you wake up, you're gonna go to go to church and follow the schedule. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the whole day, basically, as I do it the first time around. So now that we've woken up, Slow down, brother. And I rush to pray. We've got to go to the church. So you're going to go all the way to the church real quick. And now you wait until... Uh, I think it's 6. You're going to wait till 6 o'clock. You always want to do a little bit over the hour. So, like right there. Alright, so now it's 6 o'clock and you see... After we're done waiting, everybody starts moving. Wait until the objective tells you that you have to go. Because if you go earlier, like if you're like, oh, 6 o'clock, I'm going to go eat. Um, then the, it's not going to count. Like, they're going to count you like you're doing something else or you missed mass or whatever. And then you're going to get arrested by the guys. So now that it's 6 o'clock and you actually have time to eat, you have to eat right here. There's no other place you can eat. Okay, that's your, that's your meal. So you're going to eat. Make sure the animation is full because sometimes it can glitch out for some reason. Okay. The food is from 6 to 8. So you're going to want to wait until 8 o'clock. A little bit over 8 again. Make sure you're eating while you wait. It's very important. All right. Now that you're done eating, it says go to the factory. Okay. You're going to get up from eating. Oh, oh come on. I, I wasn't. After the sixth hour having Whatever. Sometimes let them rest on their beds you want to do it earlier, before 8 o'clock, so that the guy won't freaking bother you. But anyways, once you're done eating, you should be poisoned. And then you're going to fall to your death. Died. Right? What? Then you get this little cutscene where this guy's talking to you. He admits that he's anti and he poisoned you. So you're going to tell him, what's the deal, buddy? But, and he's going to say that he has a plan for you both to make it out a lot. You're going to agree to but, it? But, yeah. Then you're going to say, let's do it. Because this is the non-lethal uh, guide, okay? So then you're going to want to ask him all these questions so that he tells what, you. Uh, so that the quest sort of starts it. And then he's going to tell you, get, we already have the monastery key. Now you have to get blood. And he's gonna tell you how to get the blood, okay? So then you All say, right. I know everything. Yeah. You're gonna make sure that you uh, take the potion, some food. Yeah, take that. In. So now, you're gonna to wanna to follow, follow the schedule. So go here. This is the eight o'clock class. You wanna to talk to this guy. No, not this guy. This guy, nope. The hell is he? Okay, this guy. 
Brother Nebles. What? He's no, gonna. No, no. You're gonna say I'm here for my daily duties. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. I want you to prepare punch. He's gonna tell you to make marigold a marigold potion. That's easy. You just come in here, grab this stuff. Just grab it all. It doesn't matter. And you make a marigold potion. So I'm gonna make the marigold potion. I'll see you guys when we're done. Now that we're done with that, we talk to Nebles. What? Did you... what? Submit the potion. And he's gonna be like, awesome. Now that's it. Okay, you're done here. If you don't do the potion, the guards are gonna come and tell you that um, that you didn't show up or you didn't show up for your duties or something like that. And then you'll get in trouble again. And you see how I got in trouble the first time? That shouldn't have happened. But if you get in trouble the second time, you're done. They're gonna send you to stocks. And that's, that's you're just gonna lose time for no reason. So now we're gonna wait around 12 o'clock. That's when the next class is. All right, so now it tells us to go to the library and talk to Brother Cyril. So we go up here and we talk to Brother Cyril, which should be around here somewhere. He's the librarian. What? I'm yeah, I'm ready for my duty. He's going to tell you to decrypt some weird shit, but you don't actually have to do it correctly. You just have to do it. So you come in here and you just spam whatever. It doesn't really matter. I would I would watch the cutscene, but his you know for time's sake we're gonna skip it. Then we're gonna talk to him. He's gonna tell us that you call that a copy. That it, it's trash, but it doesn't matter because we completed the event. So now we're gonna go ahead and wait till four o'clock. That's sixteen, if you guys didn't know, because twelve is twelve o'clock. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. So we're gonna wait till around right over four o'clock. When you're eating, you might want to go a little under 8 o'clock just to make sure that they don't catch you like they caught me. And then just wait until everybody's dismissed and then get up. All right. All right. So now, I'm going to wait a little bit. Now it says go to church. And we're going to go and pray in the church again because that's what priests do. They go to church twice a day. All right. So now we go here. And we have to, uh, sorry, let me look at my my book real quick just to make sure that I'm correct. 4 p.m. worship, 6 p.m. Vesper, okay. Crap, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. So 4, 5, 18. All right, so this is very important. This is a very, very important part of the plan, so do not, try not to mess it up, all right? But the good thing is that, you know, since you sleep, you'll be saving. All right, make sure that nobody watches you during mealtime. Come in here. Use this paper right here. And remove yourself. All right. Now, should be good. Sometimes those, like, make sure, just make sure nobody's watching, okay? That's the blood. It's going to arrive the next day. That's important to remember, okay? So now we're going to wait until this is done. I think this is done. Let me check the book again. 7 o'clock. So just one hour of eating. All right. So after waiting that one hour, they're going to tell you that your next quest uh, objective is to go to bed. So that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to go to bed and bed and repeat the steps over again until you get to the first meal of the day. Okay, so we're gonna go to sleep. We're going to we're gonna go, wake up in the morning and we're gonna go to church. Then we're gonna go eat at 6 a.m. and I'll see you guys at the 6 a.m. meal. All right, guys. So here we are, at the 6 a.m. meal, the first, the second day that we're at the monastery. So I ran over here before everybody could get here. But again, we're gonna want to come in here before anybody watches us. Right where the note was, the ghost king blood is going to be there. You're going to pick it up, run out of here before anybody can see you. And now we have everything necessary to escape. So we're going to need to find Antius. And that's pretty easy because either he's walking here or he will be here. So just look for the guys in the white robe. And there he is. So talk to him. What do you desire? Tell him, I have everything. I have everything. What is that? Good. Right. So then he's going to tell you to wait. After Vesper, 
you're going to make this cake. So instead of coming to eat the second time, after the, going to church the second time, uh, you go eat, uh, you go to the dorms. All right. So I'm going to show you real quick. If you look at the 4 p.m. Uh, worship, 6 p.m. the common meal is called Vesper. So right before Vesper, that's when we're going to make our escape when everybody's eating. All right, so we're going to go, right now we're at the 8 a.m. Uh, food. We're going to go 12 a.m. make another potion, 4 uh, p.m. Or 8 a.m. make a potion, 12 p.m. Uh, library, 4 p.m. worship. And then I'll see you guys when we're at the 4 p.m. worship. All right, guys, so here we are, second day translation at the library complete. This is the second day at the monastery. Now we have to go to evening mass and just wait till evening mass is done. And when everybody's heading to uh, the 6 p.m. meal, that's when we're going to make our break, okay? So we're going to wait until 6 p.m. All right, evening mass is done. Now we make our escape. While everybody's eating, we go up here to the dormitory. And here we'll find our buddy old pal, Antius. Praise Our little cutscene will play. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. And you get an objective to follow Pius. We just follow him casually. At this point, it's pretty much over, but I'm gonna show you guys the rest of it. To see, uh, so you guys can see how to get the noble. Or uh, the ending that you don't actually have to kill Pius and you return him to Sir Ratzik. And put him in jail like he deserves. So we're gonna follow a uh, good boy Pius here, and I'm hungry. It's great. Henry's gonna start bitching now. He dropped the blood that you can see what he staged to uh, so the coup. Years where you dragged my lifeless body. Yep. And since we have the monastery key, that's what that's for. Sometimes he glitches on the stairs, hopefully he doesn't. Cut. Come on, dude. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Wow. Alright, he unglitched from the rock. Amazing. Now when we make our escape here, he's going to want to talk to us again. Thank you, sir. All right, here's where you tell him, I can't let you leave. What? And you just gotta fight him. Ah! We're off to the bailiff. And now we have knocked him out, and we'll take him to the bailiff. Sorry if you guys heard that, I bumped into my mic. All right, so that's that. Now you can get your things back, but I filled that quest because I put all my stuff in my chest before I even uh, started the quest, so I wouldn't have to put them away. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. That was the uh, Monastery Quest. Quest line, how to do it without killing anybody and do it fast. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe and watch my walkthrough if you want to watch more Kingdom Come Deliverance played by me. And uh, yeah, hope this helped. Thanks.